<laughs> Get the life, nerd. Hey everyone, Alkali Lake here with Nerd Up, Level Up, and another cosplay tutorial. This time, I'm going to teach you how to fake the look of shade mail to go underneath your cosplay armor. Now, a lot of you work super hard on the armor, but don't always put the time into the undergarment, which is really important. So if you want that chainmail look, this is the way to go without all the work and the cost. All you need is this material from Yaya Han Fabrics, which you can get online or at Joann's. Super stretchy and nice. And this paint, which is very cost effective and easy to use. So only two materials to achieve this look. So this is going to be the easiest cosplay tutorial you will ever see, and it'll make you look like a pro. First, let's talk about this fabric. I love this fabric. It is from the Yaya Han collection, and it is worth every penny. Sometimes I hear about Yaya Han fabric being expensive, but seriously, if you had to do this diamond stitching and batting on your own fabric, you would go crazy. So the cost for this is extremely cost effective. You have this very light type of faux leather pleathery surface, plus the batting on the inside, and then plus the back piece, and then the stretch threading. So really, there are four types of material here that you don't have to make yourself. So I think that this Yaya Han fabric is amazing and it is super stretchy. But one thing to know, it is only a two-way stretch. It does not stretch well the opposite direction. So keep that in mind when sewing the fabric. It's really only going to stretch well one way. The other thing that you'll need is a metallic luster paint. Now this is from Deco Art and it is called Silver Spark. But they do also make it in a champagne gold. Um, and I think in a blush color as well, it comes in a few colors and I really love this, but one thing to know is it is a wax style paint, so it can flake off over time. I use this because I didn't want to super commit and I can brush on more later. And what's really nice is you can make some spots look, um, more silver or less silver or like they're faded, um, the more you add. So really cool product. Now, all you need to make this work is a rag or a, um, you know, a piece of paper towel. Um, you, I used, uh, what I made mine the first time, um, a old suede piece of material, but really anything will work. And you just slightly dip it into your product and then go over the top very lightly of these scales. Now you can start to see this silver look come into play. All right, I've zoomed out here just a little bit so you can get a better idea and a good picture of what this is going to look like. So again, dip into your material and then lightly just brush over the surface. And you can see that this is going to start to look like metal. It's really very, very quick. So it's an easy, easy application. It's pretty amazing how quickly this works. And there you have it. Some really cool faux chainmail like fabric that is great for most any cosplay. All right, you guys, so take a look at this. How cool does this look? And from pretty far back, like that really resembles a form of scale mail. Now, this isn't going to give you the complete look of like a ringed type of chain mail. So this is more of a scale mail look, but still very cool. And then when you move, it moves too. So this will stretch over different parts of your body differently. If you have a wide area like your thigh going down into a smaller area like your calf, you're going to get a different variety look of the texture of the scale, which is going to make it look like you put in way more work than you did, which I mean, let's face it, as cosplayers, we all want it to look like we did more than we did on our cosplay. So pretty cool, right?